Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. Today I have a first impression on the Chanel reissue. This is the 226 in the black aged calfskin with the gold hardware. Hopefully you find this video helpful, especially if you're looking to add this item to your collection. If you enjoy it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? I've had this bag for a little over a week. I haven't switched out of it. I haven't wanted to switch out of it. And so far, I absolutely love it. And I feel that I really made like an instant connection with this bag. And what I mean by that is maybe some of you guys think I'm crazy. But you know how like sometimes when you go to first use a bag, uh, you already know that that's a bag that you're going to be using for years on end. There's just something about it that you feel that you'll end up gravitating towards it. That's kind of how I feel with this one. But I think that um, this bag will be one that I constantly use. It Will, I feel that it'll definitely end up being a forever bag. Uh, and I said it in other videos, I think that it'll give my medium large from Chanel uh, a run for its money. You know, who knows? You know, when I do my review, I will definitely come back to this video and see if I feel the same way, but that's just the way that I initially feel about it. Uh, now, there is one thing that stands out about this bag that can be uh, a con, um, you know, in the future. I knew about it going into it when I was doing a ton of research on it. A lot of people talked about it, and I'll get into it in just a second, but for now, I wanted to cover the things that I love about it. Number one, I cannot get over how lightweight this bag is. It is crazy, and even though I do like the classic flaps, um, you know, my jumbo was my holy grail. That bag does tend to get very heavy very quickly. Uh, and uh, my medium large uh, is the one that I end up using the most. Uh, and this one is kind of in between both of them. But still, this is as lightweight as the medium large. I talked about it in my unboxing video. If you guys haven't checked it out, I will put it at the end of this video if you are uh, interested in it. And I also did like a side-by-side side side comparison if you wanted to check it out with the classic flaps. So the fact that it's very lightweight and uh, I was able to use this for hours on end. I was at like hour number nine and it was still as comfortable as when I first put it on. So I really do like that. Another detail that I wanted to bring up that I was very curious about uh, is actually the chains because in comparison to the classic flaps, the classic flaps have the leather woven in between that even though I feel that that might end up adding weight to the bag, uh, I also feel that it's almost kind of like a buffer, you know, like you don't have full on just metal digging into your shoulder. So I feel that it kind of gives it a little bit of comfort comfort to it, but uh, I was curious as to how this one was going to be in comparison to that, and I have to say that it's as comfortable. I don't feel it digging into my shoulder or anything like that. It's not like after five hours, I'm like, get this bag off of me. It's digging in. It's giving me marks or anything like that, so it's just as comfortable to me as having leather woven in between the chain. As I mentioned earlier, this bag is in between the jumbo and the medium large for sizing, so I'm crazy about the fact that I'm able to carry just a few more small leather goods without necessarily the weight of the jumbo so that to me is a major win uh, in here at the moment I have six small leather goods I'm missing my phone sunglasses and a six ring key holder that still end up fitting in here quite nicely without causing too many lumps and bumps or anything like that so uh, I do like the fact that I'm able to carry a little bit more and you guys know sometimes I like to push the envelope I like to see just how much of my kitchen sink or my house I can carry with me <laughs> uh, so that's pretty awesome I also like the fact that it's very generous as far as being able to open up the bag and see everything at a glance in comparison to my uh, to my classic flaps. Both of my classic flaps are the caviar leather, so the caviar leather is a little bit stiffer, so the fact that I'm able to just kind of I don't know, it's almost like it's a little bit softer, you know, as I mentioned in my unboxing video. It's almost like that soft, uh, buttery texture that the lambskin leather has that I'm able to just kind of open this up without necessarily it being too stiff. Uh, of course, if I did have a lambskin, ca uh, if I did have a lambskin classic flap, I assume it might be um, along the same lines, uh, but still, the fact that the each calfskin just really adds to the overall softness of this bag makes it a little bit easier to be able to just fit a little bit more in there. I feel like it gives the bat like it like it has a little bit more give because of the leather that it's um that it's made out of. I had a lot of you guys ask me if this bag tends to get heavy uh, when I have all of my items inside. It doesn't get super heavy. It doesn't feel uh, like some of the other bags that I have in my collection. It's still extremely comfortable just because of how lightweight the leather is. So I also wanted to point that out. What else? I tend to use this bag uh, on double handles versus the single. I do like the single look, but for some reason when it comes to this one, I like to use it this way. I tend to gravitate more towards using it this way. Uh, but I also had a lot of you guys ask me why I decided to go 
go for a reissue, something that has so many wrinkles, you know, especially because if you've been watching my channel for a while, I tend to go for bags that either hold their shape or that um, have a completely different look to this bag. And to be honest, that's actually what attracted me to this bag the most. Um, besides the history that it has behind it, I cannot deny it. I'm a huge history buff. I like the fact that no two reissues will look the same. They might be the same size. They might have the same leather. They might, uh, they might have the same type of hardware, but they won't have the exact same wrinkles. So I feel that it almost gives the bag a type of uniqueness, a type of personality that I really appreciate about it the most. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm looking into it too much. I don't know, but I just really, uh, I really like the fact that they're very, they're, they're on their own. You know, like I said before, no two will look exactly the same. So I am all about these wrinkles, you know, and just aging, <laughs> aging gracefully, if you will. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but that's how I see it. Uh, now, as far as the con or as far as the, the thing that I knew about this bag going into it that might make it a little bit fussy, um, that is the lock. And I've had uh, every video that I've seen, every um, wear and tear video, everyone talks about the lock. And even if you look on the pre-love market, it tends to have a lot of wear and tear, especially if you go for one with gold hardware, you tend to see that they start to chip or they start to lose their color uh, a little bit quicker. And the reason that is, is because of how this ends up closing. This is the type of bag that um, it can get fussy at times because you have to find it exactly where it goes in order to be able to lock it up. Other times, uh, like sometimes I'm at the checkout and I'm sitting there and and I and I'm doing this. So if I have if I have my wallet in my hand, if I have my phone, if I'm doing multiple things at once and I go to close the bag, I almost have to find it like this in order to be able to lock it up. So if you are in a crowded area, that's just something to take into consideration. Like I said before, I knew this going into it. I knew that that was the number one con that people did not like about the reissue. The fact that the, that the lock ends up wearing very, very quickly and it can be somewhat fussy to be able to close it. But I still love it. You know, it kind of reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Pouchette Matisse. It kind of has the same type of closing where you have to find uh, where it kind of locks up in order to be able to, to make sure that it's secure. I feel that it's the same thing with this one. So it might seem trivial to some people. You know, some people might think you can leave it open. You definitely can. But I'm just wondering if you are in a in a crowded area, if you are in a hurry, you want to be you want to make sure that your bag is secure. You don't want to necessarily leave it open because then it makes it easy for someone to be able to open it up and be able to reach into your items. Some people might think it's not a big deal. Some people might think it's a deal breaker when it comes to this bag, but I just wanted to give you a quick example of when it comes to being able to lock this bag. You know, it might look easy here because I'm just, you know, I'm just doing this. I'm focusing on the bag, but when you're out and about and if, uh, if you have multiple things going on at once, it can get somewhat fussy to be able to close this bag. But even with that said, I am still, um, I'm still crazy about it. I am still very, very happy that it's part of my collection. Uh, and every time I've gone to use it, I've gotten so many compliments on it. I also had some of you guys ask me if I'm worried about uh, it losing its structure, if I'm worried about it getting any type of scratch marks on the calfskin leather just because it is a little bit of a softer material. And uh, I'm expecting that to happen. I'm expecting it to even lose its shape, especially if I end up, um, if I end up fitting more items inside, if I end up pushing that envelope that I talked about earlier, uh, I know that that might end up happening, kind of like what happened to my wallet on chain. Sometimes I'm constantly putting more items inside and putting more items inside and the fact that it's kind of lost its structure in a sense is my own fault. You know, no one else is, and I totally accept that responsibility. Uh, so if that ends up happening with this one, I don't know, it's just one of those bags that even if it starts to get even more wrinkled, even if it starts to get a little bit of structure loss, even if it starts to chip, I don't know what it is about it, but I'm just kind of like, it is what it is. I want to be able to enjoy it. I don't want to think twice about it. I don't want to have to baby it. And I feel that because of all the details that this bag has, I'm able to do that. You know what I mean? And sometimes when it comes to getting other bags, um, I don't necessarily baby them. Sometimes I do to a, to a major, major extreme, especially if you guys have seen me throughout the years. Sometimes I try to protect them as much as possible. And other times I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. But with this one, I don't know. I'm just like, eh. 
if it ends up getting a mark here, if it ends up getting a scratch here, it's just part of the bag. It adds more character to the bag uh, and it allows me to be able to enjoy it a lot more. It's like right off the bat, I was able to enjoy it. I was able to just move all my items inside and not think twice about what I was, you know, how I was going to wear the bag. The only thing, um, that I am going to be mindful with this bag is uh, is rain, and uh, it doesn't rain too often here, so I'm pretty safe on that on that end. Uh, but I have seen uh, various threads on different websites where people say, you know, don't put the reissue, the aged calfskin, in the rain because it can damage it. You can end up having this, and you can have end up having that. Some people have used this in the rain, and they've had no issues. So um, I turn to you guys. If any of you uh, have this bag or have this material, have have you used it in the rain? Has it been okay? Um, just to have more information out there. You know, you know me, I'm all about sharing more information, especially if you're looking to add this item to your collection. Uh, so that's the only thing I'm going to be somewhat uh, careful on as far as, uh, as far as the weather goes. But other than that, I'm just going to rock it and it is what it is. You know, if it gets a little bit more wrinkled, that's okay because it's aging gracefully. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I, I'm just crazy about it. It's very, very comfortable. And and I like the fact that I'm able to fit a lot in there. Um, I like the uniqueness. I like the personality that the wrinkles ends up adding to the overall bag. Um, and uh, yeah, so even if it does have, you know, corner wear or anything like that right now, like I said, it's in pristine condition. I got, I got a ma I mean, I majorly scored when it came to fashion file, when it came to this bag. So I know that over time, these corners here might end up sagging a little bit and this might end up having a little bit of wear and tear and the wrinkles might end up getting a little bit deeper because I know, um, some people have also mentioned that, that uh, they've had the reissue for like five, six years. And uh, over that time, the wrinkles start to get a lot a lot deeper so uh, that's just something to note again but for me the fact that it has all those things already and if it starts to get a little bit you know a little bit more prominent over time I just feel that it's part of the bag and it is what it is and just be able to enjoy it and rock it as such um, I know some people had also told me that over time uh, these uh, these creases might get a lot deeper especially if I go to store this bag uh, in the flat position uh, so that's just something I also wanted to throw out there. Now, as far as storage goes, I'm going to store it the same way that I do my other classic flaps. I'm just going to put uh, air paper inside. It already came with a dust bag and just set it on my shelf. I know some people end up storing this uh, by hanging it on, um, you know, on a hook or on the back of their door uh, to each their own. I think that that's fine just because it already has that type of pointy uh, silhouette. So I don't think anything will happen to it. But just for me and the fact that I do have a shelving unit behind me, it makes it easy to just put it, um, you know, just kind of store it the same way that I do my classic flaps. So I just thought I would also mention that. So all in all, just elated and just grinning from ear to ear when it comes to this bag and anytime I talk about it. And I'm really looking forward to doing an in-depth uh, review on it, probably within the six months or five months or what have you. Um, and just looking back on this video and seeing if, um, you know, if the, if the pros will stay the same or if that con will end up driving me crazy, you never know. Because I feel that you can research a bag to death and it might be the bag that you're just like, this is it, this is it, this is it. But it's, all, I mean, but when it comes down to actually owning the bag, it can be completely different. So who knows? But um, in my heart of hearts, nah, this bag isn't going anywhere. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys. So that does it for my first impression on the Chanel uh, reissue, the 226. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. And again, if you guys have any, uh, if you have any tips, if you have any advice when it comes to this bag, I would love to know in the comment section down below. And again, I also feel that that ends up helping anyone else out there that's interested in getting this bag. The more information out there, the better. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And as I said in the beginning, I will be including my unboxing video at the end of this video if you wanted to check it out where I do a comparison between the medium large and the jumbo and you can also see mod shots on how it looks on my body frame. Uh, and as time goes by, before I do the in-depth review on it, I will be doing a comparison between the other classic flaps that I have or any other bag that you guys are interested in. Let me know in the comment section down below. But again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.